In this video, we'll look at how to build a formula that calculates a 401k match using several nested if statements. In the US, many companies match an employee's retirement deferral up to a certain percent. In this example, the match has two tiers. In tier one, the company matches 100% up to 4% of the employee's compensation. In tier two, the company matches 50% on deferrals between 4 and 6%. So if an employee contributes 10%, the company matches 100% up to 4%, then 50% from 4% to 6%. After that, there's no match. So let's look at how we can calculate the match for these two tiers with if statements. Then in the next video, we'll look at how we can simplify the formulas. To calculate the match for tier one, we can start off like this. If C5 is less than or equal to 4%, then C5 times B5. This works fine for deferrals of 4% or less, but we'll get false for anything over 4%. So we'll need to extend the if function to handle this by adding a value if false. Since tier one is capped at 4%, and we know the deferral is at least 4%, we simply use 4%. And when I copy this down, we'll get the correct amounts for tier one. For tier two, we can start off in the same way, if C5 is less than or equal to 4%. In this case though, if the deferral is 4% or less, we return zero, since that's already been covered by tier one. For the value if false, it's a little more tricky. If we've made it this far, we know the deferral is greater than 4%. And we know the match is capped at 6% for tier two. So we'll need to use another if. If the deferral is less than or equal to 6%, subtract 4% since that was already handled in tier one, and then multiply by B5. If greater than 6%, just use 2%, since 2% is the maximum percent for tier two. Then, because the match is 50% in tier two, we multiply by 50%. When I copy the formula down, we have complete tier two amounts. So to recap, as you can see, these kind of calculations can become quite complex in Excel as we add more if statements to manage the logic. In the next video, I'll show you how you can simplify these formulas by replacing the if statements with the min function and a bit of Boolean logic.